if you spend some time on freezer burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Rake's the frozen food master. He's best bud to your taste buds. Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. And you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. Brand new from Hungry Man, the Hungry Man selects spicy classic fried chicken. Hungry Man classic fried chicken is truly a classic. I mean, it's like the original, like Salisbury steak and meat, meatloaf. It is like the original TV dinner, microwave frozen dinner. Hungry Man's taking it up a notch because they're making a spicy classic fried chicken. Tender, dark chicken portions. That sounds gross. With homestyle mashed potatoes and mixed vegetable includes an apple dessert. Now, for you longtime Freezer Burns fans, you know my philosophy when it comes to meals that can be prepared multiple ways. I always go to the lowest common denominator. In this case, it is the microwave. So regardless of what I give for a rating, know that whatever I give it for the microwave, it's going to be a half step, step sometimes a full step star uh, in rating in the oven. But I got to evaluate it by its most, uh, the quickest, most lowest common denominator for me to really truly determine whether this meal is any good. For those who say, well, you know, it's always better in the oven, it's never good in the microwave, to which I will retort, there are many frozen food companies that don't even give microwave directions. Why? Because it's only good in the oven. This one is not one of those cases. Hungry Man has decided to give us microwave and convention oven uh, directions, and I'm going to get this out of the box. I'm going to stick it in the microwave. When I come back, I'll tell you how it looks, how it smells, and I'll get this spicy classic fried chicken down deep into my belly. All right, I've taken this Hungry Man spicy classic fried chicken out of the microwave. Here's how it looks. As you can see, the chicken is abundant. There is crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of classic fried chicken going on here. Three big pieces of chicken. That is like Hungry Man style, you know what I'm saying? That's good. The mashed potatoes looks like standard mashed potatoes. The uh, apple dessert looks like just a little dark puddle with little pieces in it. And the vegetables look nice and fresh. We got some carrots, we got some corn, we got some green beans. Let's see, uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these full meals and, and actually it's been too long, so I'm glad I'm, I'm doing one here. I'm gonna go for the mashed potatoes first. Now, first off, before I get started, this is Hungry Man, people. If you have a problem with nutrition, you're not gonna wanna eat a Hungry Man meal. Just telling you. This thing has 50 grams of fat in it. 50 grams, 406 grams of food with 50 grams of fat, and 1,310 milligrams of sodium. This is everything that uh, the bad stigma of frozen food, uh, this is all that in one big, uh, you know, plastic container. The mashed potatoes are not creamy, but they're not dry either. They are, um, oh, they're like a cloud. Let's see how they taste. Grainy. They taste like, um, uh, they have the texture of cream of wheat and the taste of artificial butter. Not digging that. Mm. And I should add, and this is because of the, um, because of the um, plastic wrap, they have a hint of apple. I'm gonna go vegetable, oh, I'm gonna go vegetable. Fresh tasting. Carrots, nice sweetness to the carrots. Green beans, you barely taste. Corn, you barely taste, but it's fresh. It's, 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 um, it gives the hint of butter, but I don't think it's buttery. I think it's just kind of like steamed, just flat out steamed. I'm gonna leave the apple dessert for a little bit later. I'm gonna bust right into one of these chicken pieces. Now, this is a chicken portion, and I'm just gonna go right for the, there's, there's a bone on here, so this ain't boneless, and that's hot. It's way too hot. So I'm gonna to try to stab it and bite it. Let's see, hopefully this is spicy.
Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. Woo! Uh-huh. Spicy. Now, remember, I put this in the microwave. It's not going to get as crispy. And it says on the box, for crispier um, breading, put it in the oven. Of course, it's not going to be crispy like it would be in the oven. That being said, this is like, it brings me back to my childhood, guys. The classic fried chicken. Extra battering. Um, it is like extra crispy at KFC. But this has a spice, man. Mm. <coughs> a lot of spice. And a good spice. <coughs> I'm almost tearing up with how amazing this is. <coughs> Actually, no. Tearing up because it is really, really good and really, really spicy. It delivers spicy classic fried chicken. Mm. I'm going with this apple, the pseudo applesauce dessert. It's not gummy. It doesn't have any... Um, crust to it. It just looks like applesauce with a lot of cinnamon and bits of apple. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, too much cinnamon. Too much nutmeg and cinnamon. This tastes like a Christmas candle. This tastes like uh, a Christmas tree shop. You know, when you walk in, you're like, oh, that's like crazy Christmas smells. That's what that tastes like. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, recap. Don't like the mashed potatoes. They weren't dry, but they weren't good either. Not creamy. Don't like that. Uh, vegetables, not bad. Probably, the, um, you know, decent, bet better than most. Uh, the apple dessert, don't like that either. But the chicken, if you want chicken and you want it cheaply and you want it spicy, this is the one to go. Really, really like the chicken. Wow, I'm actually pretty surprised. Okay, woo, oh man. Just so emotional. This is the Hungry Man Selects Spicy Classic Fried Chicken. I got this for about $3.99, brand new from Hungry Man. Like I said, this ain't gonna win any awards for its nutritional content, but when it comes to spiciness and actual down-home goodiness, especially if you prepare this in the oven, you're gonna really dig this. While I didn't like the mashed potatoes and I didn't like the dessert, the vegetables were middle of the road, but the fact that it delivers on spiciness, I give this a four out of five star rating. Probably the highest thing I've ever given for, given for a hungry man dinner. Question of the day. What is your, I know this is July. It's not even July. God, where, I don't, it's like time warp, man. It's only April. But I said that thing tasted like a Christmas candle. And you know, uh, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know that I listen to Christmas music all year round. I love Christmas. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? Why not? Question of the day. Leave that in the comment section. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching. See you next time.